Ah. My eyebrows always go up when I'm, I'm starting a video. Like that. Hey guys, Gidon Bosman here and welcome to our second episode of Wednesday Checkouts. Today we're learning to shoot better log footage. So if you noticed a lot of grain in your log footage, today's video is for you. Long story short, I went on a trip to Switzerland. I, before I went there, it's the first time I'm shooting log footage. I go onto the internet and the first tip I see is to use zebras on your camera, right? Right, so there's a trick. But did it work? Hell no. See, the problem is, we need to know how to expose log footage and there's some tips and tricks that can help us to, to, to actually get the exposure right. But in actual fact, when we're in the field and we're busy doing something, we don't have the time to always try and fine tune and, tr uh, and pull out a, a neutral board, which is this little gray board to show you where your exposure should be for neutral. We want to go to a place, we want to grab our camera and we want to capture something. Now, there's all of these tips and tricks on how to get the perfect exposure, but quite frankly, the scenario changes every time. And when you get back home, review your footage, you see there's a lot of noise in the shadows. So what do we do? Do we just go to a standard format and record everything like this, and we uh, lack that full dynamic range? Or do we have a quick tip that learns us how to capture everything? We have got full access to the full dynamic range, and we get that perfect juicy footage. That's what we want to do, right? Now, I'm gonna learn you a very small trick today that I've learned that seemed to use, work for me. It's not the zebras, it's not using neutral cards, it's simple trick of exposure. So the short answer is we want to overexpose our footage. So we, d we tend to get a lot more noise in the shadows than we do in the highlights. So we can push the highlights and reveal all the information in the shadows. Okay, so how do we do this? There's two ways I'm gonna learn you. There's the manual exposure way, and there's the automatic exposure way. Everything has got to do with your ISO settings. So if you're a guy or a girl, and you want to shoot something manually, good for you. <laughs> Here's what you gotta do. Just before you start recording, if you slightly press your, your photo trigger, you'll see some information on your screen pop up. Now this over here shows you your exposure, right? So zero is, is a perfect exposure between highlights and your shadows. So highlights to the right, shadows to the left. So what we're going to do is we're going to change our ISO so that we overexpose it by one and a third stops. Yep, it's really as simple as that. So what do we do if we want to do it on, in an automatic mode? When you put your camera in auto exposure, the ISO is going to jump around, right? So it's always going to try and achieve that zero point for your exposure compensation. Now we need to tell the camera what we want that zero point to be. So what do we do? We go into our menu settings, into our main camera sub. So there's some sub tabs, scroll around. This is specifically for a Canon camera. Go to sub tab number two, you'll find something called exposure compensation. And some people also call the, refer to this as EV. So we open the setting and this will allow us to change our zero point. We shift this towards one and one third of exposure stops. So with this little trick, this is where I went from this footage to this footage. So take note of specifically the noise you see in the shadows. Okay guys, that's the tip for today. This is something that you like. Remember to follow this series. We're doing a new video every Wednesday where we learn something about color grading and sound design and cinematography. Thanks again for watching, guys. I really appreciate your support. And uh, we'll see you next Wednesday. Okay, bye. Okay, guys, that's it for me today. Okay, guys. <laughs> okay, guys. Okay, guys. Thanks. Yes, like it. I'm struggling with this. That's a tip for me today. <clears throat> that's a tip from my side this day. This day. Ha, ha, ha.